Hey everyone, it's Noah Wilson here and Bella. Yes, welcome to iHollywood TV, you guys. So combining the star power of both Hollywood and the canine world, NBC is set to air the third annual Beverly Hills Dog Show presented by Purina on Easter Sunday, April the 21st from 1 to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we're gonna take you to the red carpet with Maria Menounos. So take it away, Maria. Hey guys, we are here at the Beverly Hills Dog Show where we're gonna be bringing you all things pups from Bichons and Beagles to Jack Russell Terriers like Twizzle here. We are gonna take you inside the red carpet for all the fun. We're also gonna be showing you the animal actors and therapy dogs and service dogs who show us that heroes come in all shapes and sizes. So join us April 21st, Sunday at 1 p.m. on NBC for the Beverly Hills Dog Show presented by Purina. My perspective of why I'm here is because I love dogs and I get to squish every breed that my heart could ever desire. But I also have uh, a role in the show and, uh, and my partnership with Purina brings me here as well. So I'm interviewing uh, animals, humans, celebrities, kind of whoever uh, shows up. If anyone is watching this and they don't have a dog, you have no idea what you're missing out on. The love, the lessons, it's... It's funny because they come to you in different ways, right? So for me, I rescued my dogs, but they rescued me too. And I know some people say that already, but it's true. So you learn from them, they give you unconditional love, and uh, you know, Maximus has provided comedy and security. I feel safe for the first time in my life because of him. And he makes me laugh, and he just makes my heart explode on a daily basis. And Winnie was so pivotal in my recovery and in my mom's recovery. And so she literally sat on my chest recovering from surgery. And uh, I mean, they're just God's gifts. There's just no other way to put it. We're a big yes. dog family. Yeah. We have a uh, amazing French bulldog named Julio Cesar Chavez Lopez. He was a former um, champion himself, if I may be so bold to boast for a second. And he's awesome. He might as well be a superhero, and we love him. We'd have a bunch of dogs if we didn't have another baby on the way, but after that, we're gonna get more dogs. You guys want more dogs? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> it's tough. I've worked real hard for the spotlight, and he takes it a lot of the time. Um, <laughs> no, honestly, it's it's amazing. I, I love taking him out and cruising around, because he just brightens up people's day. You know, we'll be in the airport or something, somebody missed their flight, or something crazy's happening, delayed, and they're like, can I touch your dog? Can I meet him? And they'll come over and pet him, play with him, and they'll leave and be like, thank you. Really needed that, you know? It's just, uh, it just brightens people's days up. But um, yeah, he's, he's awesome. He's, he's a little guy, which you wouldn't think. I probably want a big, tough dog. Or he's pretty tough, but um, you know, he's, he's, he's small, so I can take him on the road with me. That's the biggest, you know? I'm a huge advocate of, uh, I work with Best Friends Animal Society, so I'm a huge advocate of pet adoption all around, like all around, all across uh, the board, and they do such a fantastic job, so I, they, they invited us, and I was like, why not? You know, I was able to bring this guy for the first time, and, you know, enjoy the show. I heard it's a great time. He stands on two legs like no other dog I've ever seen. I'll stand there for hours, and I had, I had him um, tested to see what exactly he was, because they said he was like part Havanese. Uh, sorry, part schnauzer, and then the other half is Havanese, and it ended up being, I'm Cuban, it ended up being the, the national dog of Cuba, just randomly. So, and there used to be circus dogs, so they, they uh, it's funny, Al Roker and I, we, just, we were doing an interview, he was doing an interview with us in New York for, uh, um, for some stuff, and he was saying he has a Havanese as well, and he had no idea why they stood on two feet. I was like, dude, they're circus animals. They used to be circus animals in Cuba, it's such a random thing. 